Niall McGrath here for SevereMMA.com. Um, at the three arena ahead of Bama uh, 27 and Bellator 169. Sang alongside AJ McKee, <laughs> the messer. Um, AJ, first of all, obviously, you're here with your teammate, um, Anthony Taylor. Um, how's the experience been in Dublin? Have you enjoyed it so far? Yeah, man, it's, it's a great country, you know. My last name's Irish, McKee, so... Uh, I was just looking up, look, looking up some things, looking around and, and kind of exploring. It's, it's a very different place, but it's a very comfortable place at the same time. How's the exploring gone? Have you, have you found anything out yet about your ancestors? Um, yeah, my great-grandfather, my great-great-grandfather, I believe, was sold for 28 cents or some shit. Or dollars. Jesus. I don't know what it was. But he was from the Mandingo tribe in Africa. And it was weird because my dad didn't know this history and my dad's fighting name was Antonio Mendingo McKee. So once we found out the history, it was just like, it just, it, it was weird, you know? It's just not a coincidence that that happened. So. For you yourself, um, obviously, you know, um, you're one of the hottest pro prospects in, in Bellator I'm MMA. I'm not a prospect. You're one of the hottest talents in, in Bellator MMA. Um, anything you can tell us about upcoming fight? Um... Well, I'm rehabbing right now. It was supposed to be Emmanuel Sanchez, but uh, he he got hurt, supposedly. But whatever, man. I feel when you sign that dotted line, you need to show up to fight, point blank, period. I had a lung infection two weeks prior to the fight, so I, I really didn't get to train hard at all. I trained for a week and a half, maybe two. And I still showed up to fight, you know? So the fact that he pulls out a week before the fight and then the same week after the fight, he signs a new contract to take another fight. That, that, that just tells me that they're scared, you know? They don't know who or what or how to gauge me. So it doesn't make sense for a guy like Emmanuel Sanchez to fight me. Why? Because he has everything to lose and nothing to gain. How do you embrace the, um, you know, the, the pressure, maybe the expectations that are upon you? Uh, I wouldn't say I really have any pressure except for... When it comes to the guys in the gym, you know, um, I, I'm like a coach to them. I'm the youngest one, and they all look up to me. So with that being said, you know, uh, I just try to set a really good role, uh, role model, and I just try to be a good role model and set good examples for them, you know. What's been like as well, obviously, there's been a hostile sort of atmosphere. We were in the gym there yesterday when... Um, uh, Anthony went down to SBG. James had a confrontation with him. Um, how did you feel yesterday? It was obviously in, in enemy territory. Um, for me, I laughed the entire time, honestly. <laughs> that shit's a joke to me. Um, but uh, the one thing I can say I don't like is uh, I, don't put your hands on me. So, like, if that would have been me that, that James pushed, there would have been an issue just because I, I don't play that laying your hands on me, you know? Yeah. You assault me, I'm going to assault you. And that, that's just what it is. Um, if you would have been there besides James, I know you were, you were, you were obviously behind him there, yes, and you are behind Taylor. Would things have been different? No, man. I'm, I'm very calm, mellow. As long as nobody, nobody tries anything, you know, I'm always about diffusing the situation and, and trying, to, trying to be professional about things, you know? I saw you there, obviously there was a few political things said that got underneath James' skin um, about him not being from Ireland, which, which he is. Um, just your thoughts, and I saw you trying to defuse the situation with, um, yeah. with Anthony. What, what happened there? Um, well, I made Anthony apologize to his father and him, just because that's, I don't know if he knows the history, but sometimes people talk out their ass, and Anthony is one of those people who just talks out his ass sometimes, yeah. if yeah. you can't tell. <laughs> and... Um, yeah, so I just I made him apologize, you know, just because I felt that's the right thing to do, not knowing the history, and you're just you're just talking, you know, and a lot of people have died for that. Yeah, one hundred percent. So it it was definitely uh, crossing the line a little too far. Where's me pot of gold belts? Hey man, I want that belt, bro. Y'all keep playing ring around the rosy between you and Pitbull. Let me get that shot, and it's a wrap. I'm putting that belt on lockdown, and the key is the only person that has the key. So if you want it, come get it, because I'm going to kick your ass just to say I did it. There you have it. Uh, we have a title challenge laid down for Daniel Strauss. Appreciate the time. Since my first fight, I've been calling him out. So Will you get a fight? Would I get the fight? Will you get it? Do you think it's going to happen? Um, definitely. I keep knocking people out and finishing them. They have no, they have no reason but to, to allow the fight, you know? Is Daniel next then for you? Hopefully, that would be spectacular to me, you know. 
I would, I would love it, especially with me still being 21. I can beat John Jones' record of being the youngest champ ever at 23. I can beat it by two years at 21. That'd be amazing. Definitely a fight. I definitely tune in. On top of it, on top of it, we're talking about doing a father-son fight where I coach my father and my father coaches me. Yeah. So yeah, he's he's gonna come out of retirement to do that. Awesome. So it's it's gonna be a fun show, is man. Is that a realistic possibility? Oh yes, definitely, definitely. I've talked to Kogan about it. Um, we, I've talked to Kogan, uh, I've talked to a couple of people about it, you know, and, and they're all on board for it. Why? Just because... Who, who would he fight? It doesn't matter, bro. Yeah. It, my dad is a freak of nature, bro. He's the only person in the gym that, like, can fuck anybody up whenever he wants. Like, really, yeah. like, at any point, he's just like, oh, oh, you're doing something? Bah, bah. And it's like, oh, like, how did that even happen, you know? Okay, just awesome. one last one for you. Appreciate the time. Um, so, what's the timeline? When, when are you gonna get back in there? Um, hopefully the end of April or, or no, 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 end of April. <laughs> That's when I want that belt. <laughs> I'm always thinking about that belt. Um, January, end of January, probably like the 27th after the uh, after the uh, expo out in LA. So probably Kansas City. Definitely appreciate the time. Looking forward to seeing you get back in there. Thank you for having me.